What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Don't Starve Shipwrecked. My name is Splattercat, and I'm huddling, hugging my sandcastle in the hopes that really sounds like a sex move. Like, oh, what's Dave doing right now? He's hugging the sandcastle. Leave him alone. Give him some privacy. Like, yeah, every now and again, you gotta hug the sandcastle. We got problems. We are, like, really, really poisoned right now. And so I need to figure out a way for us to not be poisoned. I have a plan, though. It's either yellow snakes, which we've seen before, or it's those little those little floaty guys, the little guys that fly around out by the ocean that look like little squirrel monsters. We gotta go destroy those guys, and they might drop a gland. Either that or we can find a swamp biome. But good luck there. This might be our last hurrah, so thank you for dropping on in and deciding to watch the series. It's you and I. Let's see what happens here. I do think it's probably a smart idea to make like a... Let me see here, like a log suit maybe? There we go, perfect. That'll make all of the calculographers happy. And so now that we got our log suit, oh my god, my volume is up so high. I feel like I'm shouting right now. Where's my raft at? It's at the bottom of the island. So if we wanted to find some of these little dudes, we've got to find the little squirrel guys. When you kill them, they've got like a 50-50, 30% chance of dropping these things. Had I known, I never would have got poisoned in the first place. I just didn't know about it, unfortunately. So it's one of those little things where... Don't starve is all about learning and finding new phenomena and learning what you have to do to stay away from them. So I'm not super upset about this. If indeed it's our first death, that's perfectly fine. It's a brand new game that just came out. I purposefully have not watched any content on it because I didn't want to learn anything about it. I just wanted to play the game because that's the purest experience with Don't Starve for me is just to play it and learn from all the random things that happen to you. That's when it's the most fun. If you look it all up on the internet and you go to the wikis and whatnot, eh, you're kind of spoiling the game for yourself. Let's see if we can find a couple of these little squirrel things out here. I don't know where they are. We got a log suit on right now. That should give us decent protection. We are taking a lot of damage though right now. We are seriously wounding ourselves. If we could find them though, I don't know where they're going to be at. There they are. We got them. Okay, so I'm going to eat. I saw one. Where did he go? There he is. Okay, buddy, come here. There he is. Alright. And so now what I need to do is I need to attack them. Which, I don't know if that's going to be possible. Oh, I got one. There it is. That's the thing we needed. That's the thing we needed. Okay, so we're good. But, I may kill a couple more just in case. Even though they're adorable, they've got to go. Come on. You can also press the F key. I don't know if people know about that. If you're a Don't Starve guy, you probably know about it. I'm not a Don't Starve guy, so it was kind of a big deal for me when I found out that you could just press the F key. And, wow, they do really not like that. There we go. Farm those things up. Good, 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 good. That'll make sure that if we have any other accidents in the future, we have several tumescent venom glands so that we can shove them into our random anti-venoms. I think the other stuff that we need is we needed coral, and we need... Oh, there's no monkeys on our island, are there? Is my camera rotated right now? I think my camera's rotated right now. I had a feeling that my perspective was a little bit skewed. I mean, obviously, everybody's perspective is a little bit skewed. If it wasn't, it wouldn't be your perspective. That's exactly how the whole thing works. Everybody's got a perspective. Doesn't mean you have to vent it on people or inflict it on people. At the same time, you're allowed to have your perspective. Just, you know, be nice about it. I was totally rotated. Okay. Well, that didn't cost us any armor or anything. Let's go ahead and throw the backpack on here. I know I have some coral around here somewhere. Coral, where are you? It's in the chest, coral. Okay, so there's the two coral right there. If I go back over here, I think it's in the survival menu, last I checked. Got a straw roll. It's got to be around here somewhere, right? We've got a thatch pack, anti-venom. Oh, we need three seaweed. That's not good. The three seaweed's going to be problematic because I think I just farmed seaweed. Urgh. We have an issue, and it's going to suck. Okay, well, health is back up for a little while. i got to find some seaweed right now. I didn't realize that I was frying the stuff that I needed in order to do this. And so since our venom gland is here, where's my raft at? I need it very, very badly. I need it. I think we can make it, though. I think it's survivable. We just got to go... I don't remember since this is a new recording session. I don't remember which island I went to last in order to try and survive this. We can either go to this one or we can go with this one. I think I'm going to go with the other one since it's a little bit closer and it's almost nighttime right now. We are sizzling off a huge majority of our health, though. And so, unfortunately, who knew that poison was going to burn so much? Who knew? It sizzles. You put it on, you boil, you crackle. You look a little bit like pigs. Oh, well, I don't know if I want to talk about pig skins right now. Cracklins? Mm-mm-mm. There's southern food for you. You never had cracklins before. I think it's time that you've begun. I always thought that was a weird sentence at the beginning of... 
It's not a weird sentence, but I felt like it was a weird sentence when I was a kid at the beginning of the nightmare before. Oh, goody, we found it. Hooray. Well, starvation might be an issue, but dying of poison definitely won't be. Let's swing on back. We'll get this loaded on up. And for the rest of the day, actually, this is all that I wanted to get done today. People had made it sound like it was absolutely ridiculously difficult to get yourself cured of poison. I don't know. There was like this cacophony of just complaining on the internet where people were like, Poisoning is OP. Please nerf. And so I figured it was going to be really, really gnarly and difficult to fix. But actually, for once, I think the internet was being a little bit sensational. Who knew? The internet would be sensational. Let's jump off the raft here. I was also worried about my sanity a tiny bit. Now, if you wanted to cure the poison, I think there's like some armor you can make or something like that that makes you immune to poison. I don't really know. I'm not good at this kind of stuff. Anti-venom. Better than Uncle Venom. We're going to quaff it. Yay, we quaffed it and the bubbles popped. Life is good. Life is good. Well, I could murder some snakes. I don't know what I want to do right now. Got a whole bunch of trees that are waiting around to be harvested that I haven't played around with yet. And I'm still waiting for those to grow, unfortunately. We do have some limpets over here. Let's go ahead and harvest up some of these lazy limpets. I had to come up with a word that, like, was alliterative, and lazy was the only thing that I came up with. Lethargic limpets? That also works. That should be enough to get us through... Another day or so. I mean, it's enough to offset. Oh, look at that. Our traps are dead again. I probably should have checked those two. Damn, I'm bad at this game. Wasting trap resilience. Shit. Here, drop these over here. I don't even know if those are useful for anything, but I really need to get on top of harvesting these crabs a little bit better. I don't know. I've been doing a poor job of it lately, and it embarrasses me. Here, drop the bones down here. I want them to know what's going to happen when they come outside of their lair. I want them to look outside, and I want them to see the depravity that awaits them. The darkness and despair. You know what? It might go nighttime before I can get home. Let me get a torch real fast. I may not have enough wood, though, to start a fire. I can't start a fire. Can't start a fire without some wood. Can't start a fire. Charlie's gonna eat me and it's not good. The monster in the darkness used to be called Charlie. I don't know if it's called the Gru or Charlie anymore. They changed the name of it and retconned it like 40 times during early access. Let's go ahead and add some fuel to the fire right here. Yeah, that's the kind of flame that I like to see. That's the kind of flame that I like to see. We could also spend some time maybe murdering over here. I don't know if I want to murder today though. I might be a little bit tired. To be honest, I had a good arm day yesterday. And I'm feeling a little bit, I'm feeling a little bit too tired to murder. The forearms are feeling a little bit tender. Not feeling super, I'm, I'm not talking about the tender let me cuddle you type tender either. Not like tender lovins, which I would be totally down for right now. I'm always down for those though. That's perfectly fine. I'd be like, you want to do what now? Hmm. Splattercat obliges. Indeed, I acquiesce to your commands, madam. Or sir, sometimes. Let's grab a couple of the coconuts from on daddy tree. They are coconuts here for me. Going to make everything all airy. Alright, so we got a little bit of shit in the box. It's kind of like whiskey in the jar. Shit in the box, though. Mm, just gotta wait for Metallica to put that album out. They gotta smell the money in it first, though. Otherwise, it'll never happen. We got some ropes. We got that stuff right there. I bet we could make the shell suit pretty easily. I've got gears, which I have no idea where I got gears from. Apparently, I picked up gears at some point. Got doubloons. Drop those in there. We've got a little bit of stone, a little bit of vine. Okay, so that's cool. The compass can obviously be put somewhere because it's not really helping us right now. I think maybe later I'll be able to break it or something. But in a game where you've already got a map, I don't know. Relative directions don't really matter because it's all arbitrary. You can assign north, south, east, west, no matter what direction you're facing. And so, eh. I mean, as long as you maintain that heading always and you don't swap it around and make things weird, should be perfectly fine. What's up with the weather right now? I don't know, does everything seem kind of washed out to you? Also, the music has become quite rambunctious and Danny Elfman-like. Maybe it's because I was fighting, I don't know. It played Danny Elfman music. When things play Danny Elfman music, I start to get nervous because it's happy and it's scary at the same time. I'm like, that's not natural. Jesus did not okay this music. Jesus did not okay this. Luckily, I don't wait for Jesus to sign off on most things, so... Obviously, I just go straight over his head. Revert to a higher authority. <laughs> oh, God. I have a joke here, but I'm going to leave it alone because this is not Splattercat's NC-17 rated Let's Offend Everybody stream. Oh, good. Doggies are coming, too. Just what I felt like dealing with right now. All right. 
Well, let's get some food going, because I think we should get two or three doggies at this point. If they show up shortly, I'm going to try and kite them down around the pig man so the pig man can deal with it. Best case scenario is we whack the pig man's house and get all of his stuff and then rebuild it in a better spot. Where we don't really have to worry quite so much. Oh my god, my ear is ringing so much right now. How weird is that? But like randomly, your ear just rebels and it's like, eh, I don't want to be your ear no more. I, I know I got to put in the paperwork for this, but I don't want to be your ear no more. I, I've had enough. You know, you don't treat me very good. You're always sticking Q-tips in me. I just, I don't feel good about it no more, and I don't want to be at you no more, okay? I, I hope that you're okay and that our potting can be amicable, that that bird just ate a whole bunch of meat. That's a little bit crazy. I didn't realize that pelicans would, I mean, I know they eat fish, but that was like rotten ground meat. Oh, shit. I need my log suit. Let me guess my spear was inside. Oh, shit, the backpack. Well, this is no Buno. Hey, pig man, you want to help out? There you go, buddy. Get in there. Tank and spank for me. Tank and spank. I mean, I'm going to have to use my axe here. Oh, wow. They hit a lot harder than they used to. Okay. Here, try to bite me again. There we go. I got one. If I could just flatten like one or two of these, I'd be more okay with my life. There's another one down. Go for the eyes, boo. Oh, shit. I broke my weapon. I broke my weapon over his doggy cranium. Give me that. Doggy bat. Oh, he killed the pig man. Well, make hay while the sun is shining, I always say. I mean, I don't really know how you make hay anyways. I assume that it has something to do with the sun. I never made hay before. I mean, I've baled hay like once or twice. And I would say that if you really, really, really want to get buff really, really fast, that's better than any gym workout you could ever, I mean, obviously you're still going to have to cut your food intake, which is really kind of the big sin of the whole thing. That's my problem. I'm a binge eater. I love eating, and so my binge days get super hectic. But at the same time, like, for example, when I was husky, when I was feeling a little bit heavy back in the day, when I was like, you know, 210 maybe? Now, to put this in perspective, I was 210 and 5'6". So, you know, 210's a little heavy if you're 5'6". So anyways... I used to binge eat like I would go to, I would go over to, every single time I'd go to Little Caesars and I would get a hot and ready. Yeah, I'd eat the entire hot and ready. No problem. i put that thing back like it didn't even exist. Bam. And I'd still be hungry after I ate it too. That's the hella crazy part. Back in the day, I had an appetite. A c, -c crazy appetite. Well, we've got some stuff for harvesting now, so that's good. We've got a big meat and a little meat. It's unfortunate that I ate all the meat in a desperate attempt to, oh, we got a houndstooth over here. I like houndstooth patterning as well. That should allow us to make a dapper vest at some point, I think, which restores our sanity or does something useful. That needs to... Oh, it's different from... Okay, I thought that was it right there. Never mind. It's not the same thing as a bone shard. We will save that, though, because we are going to need it. Aside from that, other things that we could probably work on... I think we should probably get a fishing pole and start working on our long-term supplies. I don't think that's going to be a bad idea. There's also snakeskin armor I think we can make somewhere. I don't know exactly how it works, but my assumption, the easy way to beat snakes is you just hit them once, dodge, and then hit them twice. Seriously, that's all there is to it. And if the weapon takes more hits than that, just rinse and repeat. I mean, it's not too difficult. Should be all right as long as you stick to the plan, man. Stick to the plan. Supposedly, we can make like a snakeskin jacket or something like that if we have ropes and something else. I don't know if it's inside the survival menu or like the clothing menu or what. Thatch pack. We've got a straw roll. Don't really need that right now. CS to lean tos. Don't think that's going to help. There's our fishing rod. So that'll be good. Bird traps are a little bit tough because you got to bait them with seeds and other stuff. But they do work out pretty well if you're trying to farm up the materials that you need in order to get the, the random like blow darts and things like that. Mm, I don't think it's actually in there. It might not be in there. It might be under something else. It might be under maybe the snakes. I think the log suit is in here, so the snake skin might be on this side, possibly. We've got a poison spear gun. Huh. That actually sounds bad. Cutlass Supreme. Oh, man, my aunt had a cherry, a candy apple red Cutlass Supreme. It's like an 86 Cutlass Supreme. It was so clean. So much chrome. And that's one of my biggest things in life is when I was a kid, my aunt was selling it when I was 16, and I wanted it so badly. And my parents were like, you're not buying that piece of shit car. And I was like, I want it so bad because I lived in a neighborhood where that car would have increased my street cred. 
Like, you could just, like, roll around playing funk music out the back of it all day, and you would have been the coolest by about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. My favorite part of that song, Stevie Wonder's I Wish, in case you were wondering, is where it gets to, like, the part after the chorus. Like, it's not really a bridge, but they got the... That's my favorite part right there. Every time it gets to that part, I'm like, oh, it's on, Stevie Wonder. It is so on right now. The switch, it was configured to off, but you have taken your thumb. You have taken your thumb, you wonderful blind wizard, and you have flicked it to on. Let's go. Oh, he's dancing. Sorry. I had to explain what I was doing here. So people are like, so why are you running back and forth now? Like, I'm dancing. I have to dancing every now and again. I like to dancing. The bird trap's also kind of expensive. If you haven't set up the ability to harvest. No, 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 I don't want that. Don't build that. Oh, my God. I almost screwed that up hard. That is what I desire. Two of them, in fact. I'm going to farm the shit out of some, like, fish in the next little bit. We're going to go on up to the coral place, and we got to get some more supplies together so we don't have to worry about being poisoned. Yeah, around here somewhere, I thought there was a cocoa nade. <laughs> Dear God, I can get a spear gun. Supposedly around here somewhere, I thought there was like armor. Maybe I had to have the better science machine though. There's a sea. S oh, really? A sartorial reef. Okay, so we can make a, a limestone suit. I could go into my conversation about where limestone comes from again, but I don't think anybody wants to hear it. Yeah, I thought there was a snakeskin suit or something around here that I saw when I was playing around in between episodes and also looking on the wiki because I like to be pre informed. There's a hat that's made out of bush, so just in case you like to have things presidential on your head, you can make that happen. I guess that joke doesn't work for everybody, does it? It mostly just works for us. I can make cloth out of bamboo. It's so versatile. I don't think I've ever made cloth before. What do you do with cloth? Is it applicable anywhere? Oh, man. Shit's blowing around again. God damn it. All right, pick up the loot. Pick up the loot and get it ready. I don't know if the bamboo snapped off right there, but that was pretty cool. We're going to have to put up with that over the next day or two, I think. So let's stow away. Not on a ship, mind you. There are serious consequences for being a stowaway on ships. But for right now, I need all this stuff to just go elsewhere. It doesn't really matter where it goes, but it can't be on the ground, obviously, because if I put it on the ground, man, you don't know me. I know I had these organized at some point, or I said I was going to organize them, but I apologize. I'm bad at organization. I could probably cook up a dinner or something pretty soon. Oh, look at that. My feet are all wet. That's enjoyable. Where did I leave my... Oh, I should check my traps, too. Hold on. We going to the hood and checking our traps and playing lots of craps because we have a gambling problem. Oh, man. Nobody wanted our traps. Apparently, our traps are not good enough. I like how fast we can run right now. It's like, well, hey. Go super sneaky, awesome, fast. Now we just got to hope that we don't run into any more of those poison sting bat things. And we should be all right, but there are things we need to harvest right now. Namely, we could use a little bit more seaweed. I think we could probably go northward. I'm going to go over to this coral place over here and see if I can't catch any fish. If I can catch some fish, that would be super sweet. I might try to, like, loot those little brain things again and see if maybe if you loot the brain things, if you can cook them and we can eat some brains right now and, you know, satisfy ourselves off the cranial sustenance provided. But... I wonder if we dry off faster if we're in the wind and we're wet. I want to kill one of those, but every time I hit them, they hurt me. And so I don't really want to be hurt anymore. I'd rather go through my day unencumbered by wounds since our health is already so low and it doesn't regenerate in this game. It only comes back as you eat food. So I'm going to go laterally while I wait for this wind to no longer bug me. There we go. So is it worth going back and playing Final Fantasy 13? I know we're on the next generation right now. But I used to be a big Final Fantasy fan, and I'm really trying to get back into it. The last one that I played was 12. Is it worth it? I didn't really enjoy 12. I didn't like it very much. Other people said that they really liked it, but I was sort of like on the fence about it. It really felt, I don't know. I haven't enjoyed any of the Final Fantasy since 10. I think 10 was the last one that I was like excited about. And it, ha it all has to do with the active time battle system. It's all I enjoy the active time battle system. To me, that was a major selling point of Final Fantasy. Just the little bars filling up, and then you get to hit people, and then you wait for them to fill up again, and then haste makes it go faster. Like, I just, I really, really liked that. And when they did away with it, I never recovered with the series. I was just like, well, guess I'm not playing that anymore. And it may have been an overreaction, sure. It may have been, but I would like this weed right here. 
so we can put that in our pipe and smoke it. You ever notice that snowboarders always have those weird weed pipes? <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Every snowboarder I know has one of the, I don't even know what they're called. It's just like a little, it's like rolled, like a weird rolled glass type thing. I've only seen it like twice. I don't have that many snowboarding friends. I'm like, huh, that is an interesting pipe and I have never seen that before. Weird. And my buddy was like, oh yeah, snowboarders always use those. I'm like, really? That's the explanation? Snowboarders always use those. You, I'm going to need extra sentences. Where did the fish go? The fish went away. How am I supposed to grant my wish of catching a fish so I can be like Gollum and sing happy little songs? That was my best Gollum impression. It's all that I've got. It's all that I've got. I, you got to put it less in the throat and more. I'm sorry, less in the back of your throat and more like in the larynx. I think if you really want to get the... There we go. See, that's how it's done right there. That's a little bit better. I sure hope we find an island up here. Because if we don't find an island... Sorry about that. My cat was breaking shit as usual. And I was trying to fight him over it. He's trying to... Okay, we're not going to make it that way. Time to head back to base. It doesn't look like there's anything that interesting to the north. Yeah, we definitely sprung a leak. Also, there was ice falling from the sky, which I think is concerning. I, I wasn't aware that hail was a thing that I was going to have to contend with. And so I learned a new thing today. I learned a new thing today. I wonder if you can preserve... Oh, shit. Nope, I don't want to hang out with you right now. I just finished fixing myself for all the issues that you gave me. I think I have... Oh, no. I don't think that I do. I don't think I have the stuff required. It's because I made a torch. I don't have the stuff required to make a fire. This might not go well. We may have an issue. We've also got brainy matter, though. It looks like it is edible. But we could also use it to make some other stuff. I think the temperature might be getting lower here. I would bet that if we were to build a thermometer, we would find out. You know, I should have used that. I should have used the spider webs to make a parasol. Didn't think about it, though. Didn't think about it in time. We just got to make landfall, like right now. All right, so there's landfall. What we need to do now is we need grasses so that we don't get put out on our asses in case we got to make like an emergency fire, basically. So let's grab these. How many do I need for a fire? Oh, I have 29. Oh, I thought I used up all my grasses. Never mind. I guess I didn't use them all up and I just found out about it. So I'm a little bit surprised. My emotions are a tad strained right now. It's been a weird week. Check my traps real fast. Set that up over there. Apparently, I rotated my camera at some point when I was panicking. So I tried to I tried to punish the kitty for the horrible things he was doing, i.e. chewing on my microphone. And when I did it, it rotated the camera. And then he ran away, and I broke a bunch of stuff. And I was like, well, damn it. He's so fast. He's so sprightly. I, just, I don't know how to catch him anymore. Like, I could really teach him better. Did something eat off of my drying rack? I think something may have eaten off of my drying rack. We may need to invent something to get us out of the elements right now. What that something is, I don't know. A lean-to would work. Or like a palm leaf hut. We need four bamboo. Oh, we need an alchemy engine, though. Yeah, this is going to be an issue if we can't solve this, because I think our sanity goes down super duper fast if we're stuck in the rain long term. All right, so hunger's taken care of for a little bit. Let's go ahead and deal with them. We'll go ahead and throw a morsel on the line real fast. Apparently, drying racks do are non-interactable. What the hell? Oh my god, we've got a hailstone. Ah! It set my stuff on fire. No! And it had to be the one with the big meat, didn't it? It had to be the one with the big meat. Dick. And now the snake's got to get in on it and just be an asshole. Ow. And then I'm going to get bit by a snake because the day appears to just keep getting worse and worse and worse. Got to get rid of you. Sorry. I got to figure out a way to solve this, unfortunately. Our fuel is kind of wet right now, so this is not going to function super great. But we got to get a fire up for the rest of the night, and then once that's been handled, we'll sort out the rest of it. So is the drying rack still okay? I don't think it is. We should probably come up with some sort of solution to this problem. I mean, if it wasn't nighttime, I'd just hang out under a tree for a little bit. Depends how long it wants to rain for, honestly. 
If it ends up raining like super long term, we may have to figure out drastic solutions here. Either way, it's morning. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Don't Starve. I will see you all in future episodes so I can eat this. What did it do? Oh, it hurt my health? That was mean of it. Okay, well, I'll see you all in the next episode. How do you do, everybody?